Most die line templates require Adobe Illustrator to edit and add designs to. However, if you do not have access to Adobe Illustrator, you can consider using Canva Pro to add designs to a die line template. Canva Pro is a more economical alternative to Illustrator and has many other uses, making it a software you may already subscribe to. Do note that the free version of Canva will not be sufficient for adding die line designs and formatting them correctly for production. Therefore, to use this alternative method, you will have to use Canva Pro. Begin by uploading the provided die line onto Canva. Once open, you'll be able to add your designs to the die line template. To help make the design process easier, begin by locking the die line outlines in place by right-clicking them and selecting Lock. When designing your die line on Canva, make sure to follow the general guidelines for die line design to the best of your abilities. Make sure that all designs bleed over the die line outlines and use vectors wherever possible. Use the appropriate die line design guide to help navigate which panel is for which side of your box. Then, begin adding your background colors and any design elements to your die line. For any fonts you use for text elements, note down the font names and provide them to us alongside your final die line. If you do choose to add any image files to your design, please also send us a copy of the images. Generally, we recommend that you upload visual elements as vectors where possible. Therefore, if your logo is not a SVG file, we recommend that you use Canva's Vectorize app to do this. You can find this app by going to Apps on the left sidebar and searching for Tracer. This app allows you to upload images and turn them into vectors. From there, upload an image file of your logo, and that should add your logo as a vector to the die line design file. To change the color of the logo, go to Edit the image and select the Duotone effect. From there, you will be able to change the color. A limitation of using Canva is that you're unable to center elements exactly using the die line outlines. However, you can work around this by creating a rectangle to the exact size of the desired panel and centering your elements to that shape. Just make sure to delete the shape once you're done. Finally, since Canva doesn't allow you to create an additional layer, you will have to provide details to us separately if you plan to have add-ons such as foil stamping or embossing. If you plan to have these add-ons, make sure to clearly communicate to us which areas you want these add-ons to be applied to when providing us with your final die line. Once you're done designing, export your die line design file by going to Share in the top right corner and selecting Download. From there, make sure that the selected file choice is PDF Print. Flatten PDF remains unchecked and change the color profile to CMYK. This step is crucial for exporting die lines and is only available for Canva Pro users. Exporting files in the wrong color profile will result in inaccurate colors and therefore cause issues during production. Although Adobe Illustrator is the preferred die line editing software, we understand that it is not the most accessible. Therefore, even though it has its limitations, Canva Pro can be an alternative platform used for adding your designs to die lines when necessary.